couple basic ideas about scales. Let's see. You think the G major scale? G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. G, that's one octave. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. A, uh, sorry, G, A. It's one pattern. There's another F sharp. You play your chord tones. G, B, D, octave. G, B, D, octave. It's another B up there. So now if you, if you take out the 4th, which is C, 1, 2, 3, 4, and your 7th, F sharp, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, those are your dissonant tones. If you remove them, now you have the pentatonic, G, A, B, D, E. So by removing C and F sharp, the avoid notes more or less those are the dissonant notes in the dominant chord the C is the flat at 7 the F sharp is the third leading tone leads to the G you listen to it I play the F sharp and C the D in the bass seven resolves but the idea is to just think of the pentatonic as a stripped down major scale without the dissonant notes it gives you a foolproof melody notes that you can play without worrying about sounding harsh against the chord the C against the G chord sounds too dissonant and the F sharp should be a major seventh but the idea is just have simple melody notes that, that are all safe to land on which they're really all chord tones the pentatonic G A B D E is really the triad G B D major triad with the addition of the second A and the sixth. And the second is more of a passing tone from the root to the third. And the sixth is an upper neighbor from the fifth, the G. Or a passing tone to the octave from the fifth. Five, six, octave. Five, six, back to the five. Now the interesting thing is when you harmonize these, Interesting. Without really thinking about it, just take the notes of the pentatonic and you just harmonize them in thirds, fourths, fourth, 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 third. Once you get familiar with them, you can come up with some nice patterns, double stops, so call them. The upper strings sound a little cl clearer. David Gilmore's Wish We Here. It's really just those pentatonic notes. 
So if you stick it with this one pattern, you learn these shapes. Give you some nice shapes to come up with these melodic patterns. These harmonic two note harmonies. scale notes. Again, the top notes sound, sound better. Once you learn this pattern, you can go to your next pentatonic pattern. Essentially do the same thing. Oh, there it is. Then you can connect the patterns. So it's uh, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, four, seven, five, eight, five, seven. And just G A B D E notes A B A B D E G A B D E G A B Try to connect the patterns once you get familiar with them. You can play a G triad around here somewhere. Let me see. G major triad, C shape. All those notes here, G triad. There's your G triad. So you can use that as a home base. Use these other little two note harmonies as passing, passing notes, passing harmonies. So there's no chord change yet. these three note triads as my little foundation chords. Just landing on those two chord shapes. There's another one. Should be your next shape. Let's see. So this would be a chord.
chord shape. Grab the chord shape. Confusing at first, but eventually you just start seeing the patterns. Just know where your chord shapes are. And your pentatonic, if you get lost. This is your next one. Starting on the D. 10, 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 9, 12, 10. practice you'll come up with some nice patterns so your next one Practice one shape, we get familiar, and then move to the next shape. Use two strings at a time if it's easier. The high E and B string. shapes or triads. And you haven't changed the chord, you're still the G triad. Just two notes at three no harmonies. 